So yeah, hello everyone. So today I'm back with another unboxing. So anyways, yeah. Today I'll be unboxing. The all engines go with or yeah, just all engines go with. Like <laughs> yeah, I don't know what to say. But yeah, so pretty much yeah. Let me show you him. So yeah, so as you can see, here's the box and yeah, let me show you him. So yeah, so there's a there's his picture. It does the front of him, the box, like the box is pretty cool, like usual. They have the name on top, like usual. Same thing with the logo on the back, on the side of him. And then here's the back. Once again, as you can see, there's this picture. And yeah, like I said, there's not much to say about him. The bottom, there's Thomas right there. And then the top, there's the name, you can see. But yeah, but before I get him opened, let me talk a little bit more about him. So... Pretty much, yeah, my aunt surprised me with this character, or with Whiff, yesterday, since I didn't know I'd be getting him. But either way, I'm happy to have him in my collection. And yeah, another thing I should mention is that this was the last one of him, my aunt said, since she got him at Walmart, and this was the last one of him. So I think that was a pretty lucky, since, like I said, I never had the all to go with, but now I do. And yeah, like I said, overall, there's not much to say. I just think it's pretty cool. So yeah, so, like I said, Figured I'd tell you about that, and yeah. So anyways, yeah, without further ado, let me get them opened. So yeah. But yeah, one thing I, yeah, one thing I should mention is that my aunt also said that they had Thomas and Percy there at Walmart, but when she went back, they were gone. So Whiff was the only one. So I guess Whiff isn't the popular character, but either way, I think he's pretty cool. And like I said, I'm glad they brought him back, since I can't remember the last time we saw Whiff ever since... Well, like I said, well, before the reboot is what I should say. But yeah, but honestly, yeah, I think it's pretty cool. And yeah, and I feel like it's an interesting choice that they, I feel like it's an interesting choice that they chose to bring back Whiff. Well, considering the fact how he was mentioned in the first episode of the series for All Engines Go, like the very first episode of the reboot. I think it, I think it was, yeah, it was Thomas Promise or Th Thomas Promise, yeah. Like I'm pretty sure that's what the episode was called. And yeah, well, they mentioned him since, yeah. But yeah, I just think it's pretty cool how they chose to bring back Whiff. And I can't remember when he actually first appeared, but I think it's pretty cool. I mean, yeah, he appeared in the show. That's why he's here now in merchandise. But yeah, but like I said, yeah, there's not much to say. So yeah, hang on. Yeah, give me a second. Like I'm trying to get him opened. Okay, is that good? Okay, that's good. Okay, we're getting him. We're getting there. And yeah, there we go. Okay. And yeah, there we go. So yeah, so now here he is with himself. Like I said, as you can see, with he's pretty cool. His glasses, which that's pretty cool. The face is nice. The buffers, the buffers, the look the same. Does not paint it, but oh well, it's fine. I like it. Anyways, yeah, the top, I'll show you that. This is whistle, this is dome, and he got lions on him. One thing I was, one thing I should also mention that I think is really cool is how they continued the dirt and stuff on him. But yeah, I think that's pretty cool. His wheels, like I said, as you can see. And then here's his number. The back, nothing on the back, but that's fine. And then the other side, and yeah, bottom, it's not much to say. But yeah, but overall, that's a whip. He's pretty cool, and yeah. Like I said, I'm happy to have him in my collection. Since yeah, since I have the old I have the old Trackmaster one and I have the push along one. And like I said, and now I have the reboot one, so that's pretty cool. So yeah, like I said, they never really made much of Whiff and Trackmaster. But yeah, but I think it's pretty cool that they brought him back. So now that we got another version of him. So yeah, I just think that's pretty cool. Anyways, moving on. Last but not least, here's his car. And it's another one of those mining cars type thing. And yeah, on this side they have the logo. Which I, think, which I think is pretty cool. It's like the recycling logo. The wheels are cool. And then here's the front. There's not much on the front. The other side. Well, the other side doesn't have the logo. But I think it's pretty cool. I think it's cool that they have a logo at least. Buffers. Like I said, they're not painted either. But it's fine. And then, yeah. There's not much to say. Like some. I'll show you the bottom. And then the top. There's nothing in there. But I don't mind. Anyways, yeah. That's pretty much Whiff and his car. So anyways, yeah. Let me give Whiff some batteries. I'll give him his run. So, yeah. So, I'll be right back. So, anyways, yeah, I'm back. And I gave Whiff his batteries. So, 
Anyways, yeah. Here's Wisp's first, here's Wisp's first run. So 3, 2, 1. Up he goes. So as you can see, he runs pretty good. Uh, he's a slow runner. I don't know if it's because of the batteries I gave him or if something's wrong with the motor. I mean, I sure hope nothing's wrong with the motor or whatever is going on. But anyways, yeah, I'll give him a second run. So here's Wisp, like I said. So 3, 2, 1. Here he comes back. So yeah, so that's pretty much Whiff's run, and yeah, that's pretty much it, that's pretty much it, like I said. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed, and two things I want to mention, like usual. First thing is, I'm sorry if I actually got my words mixed up, and second thing is, I'm sorry if I actually said something bad by mistake. So anyways, yeah, that's pretty much all I want to say. So anyways, yeah, thanks for watching, and bye everyone, bye.